I want to put a, an additional brief statement in the front end of this video. This shouldn't be even necessary to say, but the search for Kenny Veach, listen, it's not, it's not an ongoing serial drama or anything like that. So basically, nobody is pure, okay? Nobody's pure, and we're going to talk about Shinto in our video. Um, but basically, there has to be an underlying you, you can do a great venture. You can do a great video. You can you can scale the greatest heights. But underlying every single one of our searches, there is faith that Kenny Veach will be recovered. And when there is no faith of recovery, then there is no searches. One has to believe. Now, you can turn that tiny little belief, justified or unjustified, you can turn that little mustard seed into a gigantic oak. You can spin that in your head. You can mentally work that. Okay. But when you don't have a seed to work with, there is no basis for any field searches. So um, if, if, you're, if there's no basis for recovery, you're not searching for Kenny Beach. It's no longer a search. You know, if you want to go on Sheep Mountain, Put your, point your camera. Maybe you see bighorn sheep. Oh, that's a beautiful bighorn sheep. Or you can do, maybe you do bird watching. You can do animal watching. There's there's different types of birds on DNWR. But at this point, uh, no, there, there's I see no basis for search and recovery of missing person on DNWR. Yeah, go ahead, enjoy the birds, enjoy the the plant and animals. But yeah, the, so uh, we'll we'll get into our discussion why and no. It, it's not again. It's it's not again. All of a sudden, oh, well, I agree with Susan. Okay, I cancel my searches where I have a disagreement. So no, this is based on that when there is information that is potentially relevant to recovery prospects, that sh shapes the logic of the search. So Susan didn't say, oh, well, why don't you come over for a Christmas dinner? Oh, you're a fine, you're, 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 you're a fine guy. I don't mind that you're a, you're a, you're a complete, you know, psychopathic lunatic. This may come as a surprise, but I'm canceling all future field searches for Kenny Beach. I believe that I have stumbled upon information that is potentially materially relevant. I will not discuss or disclose anything that is legally privileged and war confidential. I will protect the nature of legally privileged information. But I am canceling all searches for Kenny Veach. Right away I tried to pivot. I tried to pivot to another situation. There was a woman that was missing, then I turned on the news. And it appears that she, the person in question, uh, we're not talking about Kenny Veach anymore, but there was a person that was missing. They were searching for her. She, a woman, was found dead this week by sheriff's deputies, apparently. So if there are searches, I'm looking for any active cases where um, basically with the same rules of not interfering with any type of official investigation, complementing rather than uh, competing with. So maybe that means uh, working, you know, basically subordinate to another search party or in old cold cases, that might just mean being a lone wolf searcher. Uh, active cases might mean joining oneself, uh, basically in joining one's putting one's efforts in concert with um, some type of official operation that's ongoing. But as, as it relates to Kenny Veach, um, so over the years, now now now, let's, now it's time to get nasty. Over the years, there's been people who were, um, you know, trolling Susan and stuff. They disagree with her. But uh, let me tell you something. Susan, Susan Veach is the real deal. So if you have fangirls or fanboys on other people's channels that follow Kenny Veach, Okay, here's the problem. They, these internet commentators, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So they've trolled Susan. 
you know, basically trolls, impersonators. They're just, they're, they're, they're complete idiots. So basically, someone who has not searched the field, someone who, who follows someone else, someone who is engrossed, or, you know, basically they, that whether, whether they're the fanboys or fangirls of a channel that, that, that follows Kenny Veach. Okay, whatever. Whether they're a fanboy or a fangirl of Kenny Veach and channels that talk about Kenny Veach, may, they may have strong opinions, but basically, uh, they should keep their mouth shut when you have people who have, um, relevant expertise and have far more knowledge than your petty little pea brains can ever hold. Okay? So, basically, your brain is like that, you know, what is that, that little watertight compartment on Titanic? That too much information, you keel over. Okay? I don't cancel my field searches based on a whim. Oh, you know, uh, um, Susan Sweet talked me. They, she said, I don't cancel my searches because Susan said, you're a great guy. Would you like to come over for Christmas dinner? I have my, I have my cute little dog. And, you know, basically you're going to love this little dog. You know, you're, you're such a great guy. I, you know, I really like you. You know, you, you, you know, I, I, you know, I really, she, she didn't say any of that shit. So that's not how it works. I cancel my field searches for Kenny Veach, not based on, you don't sweet talk me to cancel my field searches. Okay. Um, when, when I see, when I see things that are materially relevant, just like in the upcoming search video, I, I, I found some type of trash. I'm still looking at it. You basically, um, if I find something that's materially relevant, I base my course changes on that. I don't set a new course for anything. So, so I want to make clear that Susan didn't say, Chuck, you're a great guy. Would you come over for thanks, you know, Christmas dinner? You know, basically, I, I'm, I'm, I don't make friends with people. I don't make friends. I look at facts. So to the pea brains who don't have, hold intellectual command of facts, they should shut their mouth, keep silent, and, and, and basically stop. Listen, if you can't think like a police detective, if you, if you, if, 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 if if you're just thinking, you know, these, you know, basically, you have emotions, passions, you have prejudices and biases, and everybody has that. If you can't work with facts, you can't work with missing persons cases. If you can't, if you don't command facts, you should get out of doing any type of detective work.